Hey guys, it is Sahara back with another What's Sold video. I figured I would skip the intro this time and just get right into it to get this video up a little faster. Um, if you saw the title at the end, I am going to show two items that actually sold in the second week of July. They sold on August 8th, but they were two items from my death pile. I've been working on listing my death pile this current week. Um, and there were two items for my death pile that once I listed, they both sold in less than 24 hours for an amazing price. So I'm really excited to show you guys those sales and help motivate you to go list your death pile, guys. Don't let those items and that money just sit around while you're out spending more money, sourcing more than you need to be. Okay, I know we're all doing it. So I have been motivated this week to try to get through everything I've bought all of my death pile and then just like kind of like the newer like items that had kind of been piling up so yeah I'm hoping I can motivate you guys to do the same so let's get right into it um I didn't add up the sales yet so I will like throw that in the title and I will throw that um on the screen and all that but yeah so I'm, the sales seem to have been a little bit down for the first week of August as I was going through looking for like the best and the worst sales to show you guys I couldn't find that many, honestly, so I think they've been down a bit, but that's all right. They will pick back up. First item I have to show you guys is the only Mercari sale I'm showing you. My Mercari sales have been slow. Um, it's these Kids Crocs. I love picking up Kids Crocs at the bins. They're super light. They definitely weigh less than a pound, um, and these sold for $13 on Mercari, so I made about 10 bucks on them, and they always sell super fast. The next item to sell was these Jack Rogers sandals. I actually just picked these up last weekend, and so these sold in just a couple of days on an offer for 30 bucks. And that was even with the heel had like a little bit of like, not like breaking, but a little bit of wear for sure down there. So yeah, those sold super fast. I paid eight bucks for them, but they moved quick, so I was happy with that. The next item was these Echo sandals. These came from the bins. I like picking up Echo sandals and like men's golf shoes and stuff. They always seem to perform pretty well for me. And I feel like they like go under the radar a bit as a shoe brand at the bins and stuff. So yeah, these sold for like 22 bucks and they sold in about a month, I want to say. The next item that sold was also a bins pickup. It was a new to me brand um, called Bluefish and it was like an 100% linen login looky kind of skirt. And this sold for around 20 bucks, I want to say, on an offer. So the next item was the See You Monday dress. This also was a fast sale. It sold in less than 24 hours after I listed it. I had it listed for 19, got an offer for 15. I just took it. Um, this isn't like a high-end brand or anything. It's mostly a style pickup for me. And personally, I've had a few of these dresses and they're really soft and comfortable. So, like, I know I would look out for this brand because they're really nice and comfy. So, maybe somebody else would have the same feeling, you know? And it sold pretty fast. So, I guess I'm right. Um, the next item that sold was this J. Jill Pure Jill waffle knit, like, hooded top. I love picking up J. Jill. I'm pretty sure this one came from the bins. And it had a lot of factors going for it. You know, that waffle knit material is so soft and comfy. It was an extra large. It was the Pure Jill line. I'm not sure what the material was on this. You almost can't read it. Yeah, that wasn't the best picture. But yeah, so this sold pretty fast for 24 bucks. Happy about that. This one sold super fast. It came from the bins. It was a Talbot's floral button-up top in a 3X. So definitely, I really, like, I think I'm going to make a big focus in my sourcing. Just really looking for, the, for those plus sizes, like 2X, 3X, and up. Because they just sell so fast. And, like, any brand any item they always seem to move really fast and consistently so I think I will make a habit of checking the plus size section first at the thrift store because they are reliable sellers and people are looking for that and there's a shortage out there on like reseller marketplaces when people go to look for items in their size and they can't find them so that's why they're moving fast okay this was a bins pickup I know nothing about jerseys but it's an authentic NFL jersey, and you find it at the bins, you might as well grab it. And so that's what I did here, and it wound up being a decent one. It sold in just a few weeks, I'd say, for 20 bucks on an offer. Okay, this dress was really cute. I'm trying to get better at identifying, like, those really nice Y2K-style dresses. 
to be looking out for that I'm willing to pay up for. And this was one of them I saw. I thought this was just so cute and unique. Um, and I listed it for 36. I got an offer, I think, for 29 and I accepted it. I was happy to sell it for that. I think I paid four or five bucks for it because I got it 40% off on the 4th of July. So yeah, this sold in about a month. Not bad. The next item that I have is a Poshmark seal was these Keen sandals. These came from the bins um, and they sold pretty quickly for $24, which I was happy about because it seemed like Keen was kind of moving a little slower for me. And these were a little dirty too, but they still sold for $24. So that's a good sale. The next one was these Go Light women's hiking shoes. I went back and forth on whether to pick these up when we got them from the bins because I don't think there was a lot of comps on them, but they sold in just a couple of months for $38. So I was pretty happy about that sale. The next sale was a really good one. I found this gorgeous Free People maxi dress in a size large at Plato's Closet for 20 bucks. Um, and it had really good comps. I just like snapped a picture of just the top part while it was on the rack, like discreetly <laughs> at the store. And I was easily able to find the style name and the exact comps in this dress had an over 100% sell through rate. So I sold this for $98 on Poshmark. My earnings were 78 and my cost of goods was 20. So my profit was $58 on this dress. Definitely not bad. I was super happy to find it. Um, and I will definitely, you know, be on the lookout for free people, maxi dresses and jumpsuits, I think are like the two categories in free people. I will definitely be excited to find some of the other items by them. Like a lot of them, I just feel like are oversaturated and just aren't performing as well anymore. But there are these gems out there in the brand that you definitely want to be on the lookout for. Okay, the next item was an exciting bins find. I just saw this tag and I was like, that looks really interesting and unique. So I grabbed it, even though like, personally, this is not my style at all. I would never wear this top, but it just looked really like boho and unique. And when I looked up the brand joystick, it turned out it's like sold by Johnny Was or like part of the Johnny Was brand or something like that. And these had pretty good comps. I initially had it listed for more like 70 bucks, but I got an offer on it for 49 and I just took it. It came from the bins and it like, I think it was like intentionally this like cream color, but to me it just looked almost like a little yellowish, which, and like had raw hems and stuff, which I didn't know was a, intentional or not. So I was just happy to move it because um, it wasn't in like perfect condition or anything. So yeah, definitely a good sale though. And keep an eye out for that joystick brand. Okay, let's see. I think these are like the worst sales. So this sale wasn't horrible, but it took way, way, way longer to sell than I thought it would. I thought this like abstract artsy windbreaker jacket would sell pretty fast when I picked it up at the bins, but it did not. I've had this for over a year probably, and I finally sold it for 10 bucks on eBay. And so I was just so happy to move that. So that definitely goes into more of the worst sales, but also a good one just because I'm glad it's gone. But worst in the sense, it did not live up to what I expected. Like I was talking about free people, these free people bralettes, um, I don't know. When I first started reselling, I would get excited about anything free people. I thought it was just so amazing to find. But these, I find them at the bins a lot, and they do not go for a lot. Like, I have better luck with a lot of other bra brands that most people wouldn't get excited about that just sell better than free people for sure. I literally got $5 for this, but at the same time, I'm fine with it and I will still pick them up in the bins because they always sell eventually and this probably cost me like 25 cents. So, not bad. All right, this, I thought this would do well too. This was like a vintage silver label Levi's button up shirt. I just thought it would do well. I got this in an estate closet lot a long, long time ago. I've had this a year and a half to two years probably and it finally sold for like four bucks so yeah Levi's tops I would probably never pick up another random one I don't even know where I got this I think maybe it came from the bins um I just thought it was cute style probably and I wasn't checking comps enough at that point that I picked it up and it finally sold for like three dollars on an offer so just glad to get that out of my inventory and move on to better items and better sourcing. Another example of that is this Ambience top. Ambience is a brand sold at Forever 21. I would never pick up Forever 21 
at all or any brands like sold there or anything like that anymore. I don't know when I got this. I guessing it was the same thing. I was just like, oh, this is a cute style. It will sell. There was a time a couple years ago where I was selling items in like Facebook buy sell groups. So I was picking up more on like, oh, this is a cute style. Someone will want this and less about the brand. But yeah, I just stopped doing that because it was way too time consuming <laughs> for not as good of results as the time you'd spend listing it on eBay. And once it's listed once, it's there forever kind of thing. So yeah, I don't recommend that personally, but it's kind of like a what what not auction or something where you do all the work of showing all the items and you hope it sells that day because if it doesn't, then you gotta like do it all over again with the item. All right, another not so great sale. There was a time I was looking up all these blazers and I found out Chaps was like Ralph Lauren and I never knew that Chaps was Ralph Lauren and I knew Ralph Lauren blazers were good. So I was like, oh, this must be good. So I grabbed this at the bins one day and they're just not good. Chaps is not a very good brand. I definitely won't be picking it up anymore. So I, someone kept, had this listed for like $15 and somebody just kept sending me offer after offer, like super low ball, like $4, $5, like on this. Finally, we settled on $8 and so I made $5 back on it. It came from the bin, so I'm not mad about it and I'm just happy to have it gone. Like I said, I'm really trying to get rid of some old inventory that I know is not a good pickup anymore. Okay, so now into the really good sales from my death pile. The first one is this jacket I was hanging on to because I was like, I am going to fix this up. It didn't, like, when I got it, all the buttons were, like, cracked in half. So I removed all the buttons, and I was just going to, like, add new buttons, right? But, like, I've literally never put a button on anything. So I've just been kind of intimidated to do that, and I have to, like, order the right size button. So it's just sat in my death pile now for a long time. And I knew this jacket was a really good bolo and it would definitely sell. Um, okay. So yeah, this is a Ralph Lauren country jacket and that's what you want to be on the lookout for. This is the only time I've ever found Ralph Lauren country. It's kind of rare and hard to find this particular jacket. I couldn't find any comps or any listed of this particular design. So it's a very rare jacket. Probably could have got more for it, especially if it was in good condition. Um, I initially listed it for $200, and I accidentally didn't realize that I had just marked down all the jackets in my eBay store to 25% off. And, like, the way the markdown sale works is when you list new items in that category, it automatically marks them down too. So this instantly got marked down to $150, um, and somebody bought it within just a few hours. So... I was a little disappointed that happened, but it is what it is. I was so happy to move it finally out of my death pile, and I made 150 bucks off an item that came from the Goodwill bin, so I'm not complaining. Definitely a great sale. Be on the lookout for Ralph Lauren Country or any Ralph Lauren, like, Southwestern, Aztec, patriotic kind of style like this with the Eagles. That kind of stuff does really well by them. Okay, and the next item, another one that I got in, like, I haven't had this as long. I probably got this like three or four months ago. It is so heavy. Every time I tried to hang it on the wall, it was like ripping my hook out. So I just super quickly like snapped these pictures of it. Um, and I finally got it listed. And it sold literally in less than 24 hours for $99. I had it listed for $150. Someone sent me an offer for $99 the next day. I was so happy to move it because like you have to, you have a limited season to sell winter coats like this. So I was honestly like, I expected this wouldn't sell to like October or something like that, you know, when it's a little colder. So here it is beginning of August. Somebody sent me an offer. I was so happy to take it. This came from the bins. It was heavy. So I probably did pay like five or six bucks for it, but these had really good comps. These like suede jackets by Wilson's leather. Um, Wilson's leather jackets can be kind of hit or miss like the actual leather ones if you're getting it from the bins and it's in nice shape I probably would still pick it up but this particular style with the suede and the faux fur and stuff had very good comps so definitely be on the lookout for anything that looks remotely like this and definitely check the comps if you find it very beautiful jacket coat so yeah that was my sales guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this motivated you a bit to go get to work and list that death pile because I started on mine and in less than 
less than 24 hours, I had made $250 back off of just two sales. Like, I know some people have big sales like that all the time, but I really don't. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I shop at the bins more or something. I don't know. But I really don't find, like, $100 plus items that often. So it's very exciting for me to get those items out the door fast and to just be getting my office space tidied up a bit, decluttering a bit my business stuff as I'm going through my death pile there's items I'm finding that I'm like, the reason it's in my death pile is because once I got it home, I was like, why did I buy this? I shouldn't have bought this. So I'm literally just putting those items aside and redonating them. It's not worth holding on to it. It's not worth listing the item I now know has like a 4% sell through rate. Like, why would I do that? You know, it's just not even worth my time listing it. It's not worth taking up the space in my inventory. It's just not worth it, guys. So just get get a move on. Go through that death pile. See if there's some gems in there that you were holding off on for whatever reason. Um, and just get to it. And you will be so happy you did. Trust me. So if you enjoyed this video today, guys, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And if you want to see or hear more reselling content from me, um, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and may God bless your business so much.